So let me now get you the latest. This is where the cyclone is. Now it's expected to hit the Kutch coast. This will be the worst impacted area. At least that's the apprehension. The wind speeds up to 150 kilometers per hour. Once it makes landfall, now could it still deviate coast? Could, could the coast be altered? We'll talk about that in greater detail. But I now want to walk across and show you some of the worst impacted areas uh, as far as the assessment goes at this point of time. So we spoke of the Kutch coast. Yes, this is where it will make landfall. Then let's look at Porbandar. Let's look at Dwarkadhish uh, already. Uh, devotees have been asked to stay away from the temple at least uh, for the next 24 hours. Porbandar, Jamnagar. Um, when it comes to the, the, the high seas, People have been moved to safety, but whether it's Porbandar or Rajkot, people are being moved to safer areas. I now want to cut across to Makrand Kulkarni of SkyMet Weather, who joins us on this broadcast. Makrand Kulkarni, I want to understand from you, sir, when you look at these sustained wind speeds, what's your prediction? One, at, about the timing of the landfall uh, between 3 and 5 or later, and the impact, sir. I want to understand, sir, uh, the timing of the impact and what will it be like during during that impact? So, uh, tomorrow late afternoon, like uh, 3 to 5, the cyclone will hit. And it will hit uh, as expected, uh, as uh, everybody is uh, knowing now. It will hit uh, near uh, the uh, Bharat-Pakistan boundary, just north of there is a village, Nalia in Kach, uh, Kach or Bhuj uh, district. So, uh, yeah, north of that and uh, near border, it will hit uh, the uh, coastline. So maximum wind speeds, what we are expecting that might uh, go up to 120 kilometers per hour and it might gust uh, to 130 or 150 kilometers per hour. Uh, after that, within, let's say, one day, the winds will reduce, but the rainfall will continue majorly in for next one day at least. One or two days uh, in Dwarka, uh, Bhuj, Kutch, and uh, Jamnagar, Porbandar. This part of Gujarat will get more rainfall. Winds, is it likely uh, to have massive? Is it likely to cause massive damage after landfall? Uh, after landfall, the uh, the Kacha houses, what we call, no, they might uh, 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 get a very bad impact like uh, Jugij or those areas will be impacted. The concrete structures will not have any impact, as we know, though those are very solid. But 150 km per hour is very uh, heavy wind speed. And particularly that part of India uh, doesn't get many cyclones. So there, uh, the, uh, the it's, not, it's not like Odisha, we get every year two, three cyclones. Yes. So everybody is prepared now there with uh, the type of houses and all those things, but here the we can you can see you are also showing those pictures. Yes. The type of houses and all those are not those are very uh, not cyclone friendly or okay. not cyclone sustainable. That might create. But um, have damage. there lessons been learned after the Kandla uh, uh, the cyclone of 1998, which caused massive massive damage and loss of life? We'll be tracking that story very closely, but. The wind speeds remain a cause for concern, at least as of now. Once it hits uh, the, the coastline, will it weaken? What kind of damage will it cause? What kind of preparations have been made? We'll be tracking that story very, very closely.